Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I done pulled up on a uh, Goodman here, 80% Goodman, and I want to do a safety check on it, and I went ahead and I've uh, actually broke out my, my field piece here, my dual thermometer, went ahead and got my holes drilled. Um, I, on, my, on my supply side of things, I'm out of direct uh, line of the, uh, of the heat exchanger, and I went ahead and uh, got me another hole drilled into my return air there. I went ahead and set up my Test 0320. I got my printer out, and I went ahead and uh, drilled a hole for my cone so all right guys let me uh get the door off this thing and it's really not that dirty to haven't been serviced in quite some time but i went ahead and broke out the rigid and uh, got myself a little brush i like to just kind of get in there with that a little bit and that way i don't really bump into them wires as, as bad and then i'll just vacuum the rest of it up but uh all right, guys. This is actually giving me time to let my hot service igniter cool off as well. and uh, we ensured it was negative if it would have been positive I would have indicated a plug but uh, all right guys let's go ahead and uh, do our flue gas analysis here natural gas okay we want to keep an eye on that O2 when the blower kicks on all right guys, okay guys I think we've leveled out here we're running about 359 to 360 in between there on our uh, stack temp and uh, we're about 7.8 on the O2, it hasn't risen. We're looking really good there, 13 parts per million CO, 21 uh, parts per million CO air free, 83.2 efficiency, 52.9 excess air, 7.34 CO2. Uh, guys, what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I've got my, uh, my temperature probe here set up, my fill piece, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a temperature split, and I believe it was 35 to 65. Uh, Guys, I don't know about you, but it's kind of hard for me to see that in there. So what I actually do is I'll take a picture of it, and that way I can see it. But uh, as for the gas, I'm running at 3.4, 3.41. I'm not going to monkey with that. I'm just going to leave it away. All right, guys, we're still looking pretty daggone good. And I went ahead and let's go ahead and do our, uh, our temperature differential here, our split here. And it looks like we're running 79 on our return. 
Okay guys, let's check out our supply. And I've been running anywhere from 141 to 142. I'm gonna call it 141. All right guys, what you simply do is we figured out we had a 35 to 65 degree split there from our data plate. And what you do is you add your return temperature to it. And what should happen is your su supply, if it was running perfect, it would be dead center of this. But it looks like we're, we're within the perimeters this time. Yeah, we're at 141, so guys, I'm going to call it on this one.